Hello everyone, and welcome back to Metro 2033. Um, as we left off, we did some, some cool stuff. But uh, I'm back today. I, I promised in the last video that I would do daily of this, and it's now pretty late, and I'm retarded. Well, not retarded, stupid. Um, because I, I took the incentive instead of being A, logical and recording this when it's not spooky outside. B, being somewhat logical and recording this when it's somewhat spooky outside. C, recording this at last minute when it's extremely spooky outside. Obviously, we're going to do C. So if you didn't see last episode, we, uh, well, not last episode, last couple episodes, we've been getting far. We are now at Armory, uh, I think. Armory the Station thing? was where most of the weapons in the Metro were made. There had been an arms factory located above, and after the nukes fell, many of the workers settled here. I was looking for Andrew the Smith, but he found me first. Hmm. Also, seems we're getting close to the Germans. There's uh, that right area, a little bit to the left of us. No, but that'd be the west, but... I don't know, that kind of seems weird. Stand still. Hey, loosen up. Uh -huh. It's a human. Kill the light already. Well, you look human. <laughs> That's all that counts. Come in. This is a free station. Mm -hmm. Careful, kid. Our free station is under the watchful eye of the Reds. Paranoia is a new game in town, so keep yourself below the radar. You understand? Uh, it seems like the reds are nearby as well. Attention! Attention! Document inspection is currently being carried out at the armory. Please stay at your registered residences and assist the law enforcement personnel in their work. Be vigilant, comrades! The enemy never sleeps! Hmm, so those must be the reds. Face to the wall, this is an inspection. Hey, come on, quit harassing me. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Got the bolt yet. Prepare for inspection. Oh, I'm always prepared for this. Uh, doctor, could you check my prostate while you're at it? I'm pissing kind of funny, it's glowing. Must be the radiation, huh? <laughs> you freak. <laughs> Help. So, you kick the part that attracts you the most? <laughs> uh, uh, pretty weak though. What, they don't feed you a shh? Hush! And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest. What? Right, alright! Lay off! Ugh. I'll come quietly. I'm gonna kill him! Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Be careful, idiot! What? Uh, pretty weak, though. What, they don't feed you enough? <coughs> hush! Hush! And who are you? The comedian's boyfriend! Put your hands out! You're under arrest. Right, alright! 
Lay off. I'll come quietly. Run! Are you the right I'm gonna kill him. Go! Let's get them! Come on, follow me! Go, go! God left in our world. That day, he was with me. I had been rescued by Han's friend, Andrew the blacksmith. He would prove to be my ticket out of the communist station. But the only way goes through a goddamn battlefield, the front line between the Reich and the Reds. You'll need a disguise. Take these overalls, put them over your clothes. The Reds are rounding up the volunteers to storm the Nazi fortifications. They're about to send a train full of new recruits straight into the fire. But you will be riding the train unannounced. Your seat won't be first class, but you don't have to pay the fare with your own blood either. <laughs> Once the troop train has passed the roadblocks, you're on your own. Alright. Let's do this, boys. Oh, wait. Is that a... Wait. Mm. I can play this instrument. There's a book. Anything else in here? Some postcards. The car thing. Let's see what's on the diary. Armory. Oh, yep. There are many in the metro who hate the Reds because they are off. They are afraid of them. The Reds always go hungry, even though they work around their clock. They are told they toil for a better future, but year after year their lives get even more miserable. They fight with the abandon as if not afraid of death at all. And their commanders just throw them away, piling their bodies up to block ev enemy gun emplacements, spending their lives as if their charges were immortal. But they are mortal, and they die of exhaustion, of overworking, of bullets fired by their enemies and their their own commissioners in order to shoot those retreating. They are told they are superior, and that they are made of steel, not flesh, and that that and that is why I pity them. Why do they live in? What do they live and die for? The idols of the past are long gone, but they keep. They are kept in the dark about it. The slogans they communicate with are meaningless in the new world. They are pro prohibited from speaking and even or even thinking freely. Anyone asking questions is deemed a traitor. Anyone who says why spent better outside the red line is a spy and a saboteur. Hush! <sighs> you have to hide everything because everything human about you and, and become just like the rest of them. There are also people here like Andrew the Blacksmith here. People who refuse to abandon hope and who persevere. If I were in his shoes, I'd be long gone. Why is he still here? Is he afraid of being shot making his escape? Making his escape? Oh, Yes! Alright, so we have to improve the accuracy. I ain't gonna buy them. Um, might buy a laser sight. Wait, no, I think I already have it. 
barrel. Four barrels. No. We're keeping the four barrels. Um. Uh, okay. I didn't really see any changes. Oh, we did stick a leaf Yeah. Easy. Can you just buy all the parts? Yeah, we can. Alright. Uh. Uh, as you wish. Any other pistols? Uh, I'm not seeing anything I'm interested in. Alright, let's go. Awesome. Oh, ammo, 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 ammo. Do I have any money for ammo? Whatever. Med kits, filters, knives, everything you need when traveling in dangerous areas, no? Well, uh, you don't have ammo. I need ammo. Whatever. So what? Let's do something. You think I have a phone? No. You think I have a phone? No. You're the guy I have a phone. It's okay, guys. He's with us. Come on, jump into the hole, Artyom. This hole. Oh. Huh. Um, why am I here again? I got another note. Let's read that real quick. Oh, this is long. Alright. I was not wrong about Andrew. I just grossly underestimated him. He is not afraid of fighting. He just does things that take much more guts than that. Andrew helps others escape the red wine, risking his own life every minute. He and his friends save lots of refugees, using a network of abandoned passages and forgotten tunnels, which the Reds are still ignorant about. The refugees usually take this literal and, at the same time, figurative underground railroad to get from the red line to the metro proper. But for me, Andrew's working it in reverse. I need to get to the front lines of the never-ending war between the red line and the right. I'm taking the train which is delivering a fresh load of cannon fodder to the meat grinder. Important part is to know when to jump off. Oh, I have, I have no clue when I'm jumping off. Hey boss, hey boss man. What's the plan? Oh no. Uh, uh. Artyom, do you see that luggage hold? Get into it. Alright, we're in here, boss. Huh? So, what do you guys think? Let's go, huh? Alright, so I guess we're heading towards the front line. We'll have to fight some Nazis. Can I turn around? No. I want to, I want to turn Andrew, is it really safe in there? You wouldn't like to see him fall down onto the rails. <laughs> Not ass, no first class carriage. But he's good as dead if he stays. He could be going straight to the Bianca, and that's a one way ticket. <sighs> okay, pick it up. It seems like the Reds are actually pretty powerful, because they can force people, they can enlist people in order to arm them. If they seem to be feared that much, I mean, I would, I'm gonna guess they're pretty strong. I wonder how strong the Nazis are. They can fight against the Reds.
there are above me. Body Tommy's. Attention! The train is ready to depart. All troops under travel orders must board without delay. Any frontline soldier who remains on the platform after the train has left the station will be charged with desertion and shot. Well, that's pretty good. I followed my political beliefs. As for me, I'm here for the dog. How about you? Me? Join the army, they said. See the world, they said. Huh? My father was a Red Army soldier, and his father as well. It's the family tradition. So tell me, Martha. Is it also your tradition to lose arms and legs on the battlefield? They were happy to make those sacrifices. Sure. Drunks and fools are happy too. There's a black capsule in my ammo pouch. What is that? An antibiotic? No. It's cyanide, in case the enemy captures you. What? But... God forbid suicide. I'd go straight to hell. Listen, altar boy. A Nazi prisoner is going to hell anyway. Trust me. The pill is faster. I could never take my own life. But give me your pill. I'd rather swallow two than rot in one of their stalags. Hmm. It seems like the Nazis also Even have Even the apocalypse didn't stop us from killing one another over ideology. I was about to go through the front line between the Nazis and the Communists. I heard they once fought another war. But the Nazis lost. Wait, is that a tank? Oh no, wait. I, when I thought war, I just thought like petty skirmish. <laughs> wait, wait, you mean it's a serious war? You mean there's, there's actually tanks? Cross this. We're uh, supposed to cross this. Well, so much for the entertainment. Silence, I say! Get your shit together! Follow me! Here's my wages. I'm just afraid it won't last us long and we'll die broke. Enough with the talking! Get out! Follow me! Better ready? Well, <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's let's let's, let's try that again. Right, now I naturally. I know you'll make our motherland proud. The future of Lenin's metro and the future of mankind. We didn't find a way to cross the front line. 
Summary. Maybe I'm not supposed to. No, it's maybe. It's just maybe. No, I don't know. The future of Lenin's metro and the future of mankind now rests in your hands. The Vagish year. Join me in the song. Oh, they're saying about so are we getting paid or what? Even Marx himself could not survive on ideas alone. Quit your yapping! Hamo's money and will pay in advance! A full clip to each man! But as honorable soldiers, you are expected to spend an ammo on the enemy! Yeah, that's right, come on, come on. Okay, shoot them all. They don't have Okay. It's stumpy. Get it down. Stop here. You know what? <laughs>